Christmas is a time for children, a time to remember your own childhood. Being Welsh, when I think back to those days, my remembrances are not so very different from those described by the great Welsh poet Dylan Thomas in his little book, A Child's Christmas in Wales. One Christmas was so like another in those years that I can never remember whether it snowed for six nights when I was twelve or whether it snowed for twelve days and twelve nights when I was six. All the Christmases rolled down towards the two-tongued sea like a cold and headlong moon bundling down the sky that was our street. And they stop at the rim of the ice-edged fish-freezing waves and I plunge my hands in the snow and bring out whatever I can find. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. But here, small boy says, it snowed last year too. I made a snowman and my brother knocked it down. And I knocked my brother down. And then we had tea. But that was not the same snow, I say. Our snow was not only shaken from the whitewash down the sky, it came shawling out of the ground and swam and drifted out of the arms and hands and bodies of the trees. Snow grew overnight on the roofs of the houses, like a pure and grandfather moss, minutely white ivied the walls and settled on the postman, opening the gate like a dumb, numb thunderstorm of white, torn Christmas cards. Christmas is coming, the geese are getting fat. Please do put a penny in the old man's heart. If you haven't got a penny, a halfpenny will do. If you haven't got a halfpenny, a farthing will do. If you haven't got a farthing, go. And then the presents. They were useful presents. Engulfing mufflers of the old coach days and mittens made for giant slots. Zebra scarves of a substance like silky gum that could be tug of war down to the galoshes. And pictureless books in which small boys, though warned with quotations not to, would skate on Farmer Giles Pond and did and drowned. Go on to the useless presents. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love said to me, Twelve lords are leaping, ten ladies dancing, ten pipers piping, nine drummers drumming, eight maids are milking, ten swans are swimming, six geese are laying. useless presents. Bags of moist and many-colored jelly babies, a folded flag, a false nose, and a tram conductor's cap, and a machine that punched tickets and rang a bell. Never a catapult. Once by mistake that no one could explain, a little hatchet, and a celluloid duck that made, when you pressed it, a most unduck-like sound, a mooing moo 
that an ambitious cat might make who wished to be a cow. A whistle to make the dogs bark, to wake up the old man next door, to make him beat on the walls with his stick, to shake our pictures off the wall, and a packet of cigarettes. You put one in your mouth, and you stood at the corner of the street, and you waited for hours. Crackers by the dessert spoons, and cats in their fur about watched the fires, and the high heap fire spat, all ready for the chestnuts and the mulling porkers. I remember we went singing carols once, when there wasn't a shaving of a moon to light the flying streets. What shall we give them then? Hark the herald? No, said Jack. Good King Wenceslas. I'll count three. One, two, three. And we begin to sing. Good King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen When the snow lay round about, deep and crisp and even Brightly shone the moon that night, though the frost was cruel When a poor man came in sight Stand by me, bring me pine logs hither. You and I will see him dine when we bear them thither. Page and Lord of Fort A. West, on the boat together. Through the moon, with wild lament and the bitter wet. Always on Christmas night, there was music. An uncle played the fiddle, a cousin sang, and then I went to bed. Looking through my bedroom window, out into the moonlight and the unending smoke-colored snow, I could see the light of the windows of the other houses on our hill, and hear the music rising from them up the long, steadily falling night. I turned the gas down. I got into bed. I said some words to the close and holy darkness. And then...
Peace.